What's up YouTube? Today we got some new fish coming in my 90 gallon painted aquarium. While we wait for them guys to acclimate, go ahead and enjoy this intro. <laughs> So before I go ahead and get these guys out, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick little look at this 90 gallon aquarium. Show you kind of what's in here. Right now I have some rummy nose tetras. I got a few neon tetras. Angelfish. Got a couple albino swordtails. Albino cory catfish. Um, I also have some Khalil loaches. And I have an L33 pleco in here as well. But today I got some species that we already have and then I also got a new species that I've never kept before so I'm kind of excited about that. And that new species is these guys right here. Uh, golden killifish I believe is what they're called. I also got some more quarry catfish just to help with the group that I have because I only have two left. I also got two more albino sore tails because I'm just in love with those guys. And this guy right here Kind of a funny story it's a rummy nose tetra colors all washed out right now but he's pretty big and i only grabbed that guy because he was just lonely in the tank he was the only one left so i figured hey might as well get him it was a sign to be so i went ahead and got him so i got some pretty cool fish i'm excited decided to kind of add some more to this tank because it's kind of empty at the moment like i could definitely add quite a bit more i'm thinking about doing some more species in here I'm just not too certain on what I want to do. I want to add some more like standout fish. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe some German blue rams. Um, I would love to do some gobies, but I heard gobies t will tend to eat smaller fish. So I'm not too certain about that. But if you guys have any suggestions for me of what I should add in here, go ahead and drop down in the comments below and let me know what you guys would like to see in here. All the plants are doing okay. This Amazon sword, I went to trim back one of these leaves and unrooted it, so it's kind of dying back a little more now, but you'll have that with live plants. I'm also not a live plant expert. I got these crypts finally starting to take off, do really well. You see there's new leaves growing out right there and in this one as well. This was just one really big plant, but I broke it up into a bunch of pieces and I got them all over the tank. And once some guys start to take off, it'll look amazing in here. Um, I'm also looking to add more plants in here as well. I'm just not too certain on what I want to do. But only time will tell, so stay tuned for that. Nothing happens overnight with these planted tanks. It takes time, but it'll get there. Can't wait to see this guy grow right here. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and start letting these fish out the bag and I'll be, pick the camera right back up. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and release these fish now. Got my beautiful girlfriend helping me out behind the camera. She's all blushing. Yeah, I'm, this is kind of my method on how I do this. I uh, let them out into this net above the bucket. Just so if they fall out, they fall on the bucket because I obviously don't want to get the uh, fish stores water in my tank. These are the gold killifish right here that I'm releasing. These guys are super cool fish. They tend to hang out at the top. Is that only four of them? Uh, it looks like four. Uh oh. Let's see. Go back to this. Huh. I bought five. They gave us four. Wow. Maybe they didn't want to give us four. I know I asked for five, but. Anyways, let's go ahead and move to the next bag. We're gonna go ahead and let these quarry catfish out. Should be four of them in here. Excited to have a group of these guys again. I absolutely have a obsession with the quarry cats. And they're gone. 
So hopefully they fit in well with the others that I have in here and start schooling up. My one solo dolo rummy nose tetra. It's a pretty big rummy nose tetra actually. Sorry. I don't know if you can see them. You're fine, I'm sorry. That's kind of low. Go ahead and uh, hold that. We'll get this guy in here. He's got a bunch of friends in there. I think I have 14 in there right now. So this will be a total of 15. And these guys are just awesome. I wanted to drop them in. Oh. I didn't even see him. He's right here. His color's washed out. But once he gets all comfortable again, he'll brighten up just like the rest of these guys. And they're just awesome to watch. Super cool fish. And then, probably the coolest fish today in the pickup. I don't know why, ever since I've seen these guys, I just fell in love with them. It's albino sword tails. That's what they're labeled at. I don't know if they got like a more legit name than that. I don't know. I call them candy canes because that's what they remind me of. But super dope. Go ahead and get a close up of these guys. Oh. All right. All righty. That's dope. One male, one female, and I also have one male and one female as well before. So now I have a total of two males and two females in here, which I hope them guys breed. I didn't want to buy a bunch of them because I know that live bears tend to breed pretty easily. So hopefully I get some spawning activity out of these guys and it'll be dope to watch them all grow out. Those are just a super beautiful fish. But yeah, go ahead and drop in the comments below and let me know what else you guys would like to see in here. Could add a lot of stuff in here. It's a 90 gallon aquarium. So it's on the rather large side for a community tank, but I think it's awesome. Maybe add another uh, angelfish, one or two more, maybe. I don't know, I only got three here at the moment. And here's all the rummy nose. These guys are awesome watching school up. I'll go ahead and feed this tank, get get everybody really to come out. Feeding flake food with wet fingers is never a good idea either. These guys just going crazy. I love this tank, it's so awesome. Also added this piece of driftwood I haven't got on camera yet. I, don't, I didn't think it deserved a whole video, but yeah. The tank's coming along really nice. I'm thinking I might want to add maybe a couple more pieces of dragonstone in here, but and some more plants obviously, but other than that, it's almost done. Also want to add some more of them uh, neon tetras. I have some black neons in here as well. Tank is looking great. Looks super cool. Look at the little quarries. I'll show you guys these here while I'm here. I went ahead and picked up some of these guys. I got them in the quarantine tank. And obviously you just watched me add those other fish to that tank because I don't have a quarantine tank for those guys. But I think they should be fine. I really looked them over, they look healthy. All these fish look healthy too. I seen like one little spot on this big guy right there, but I think it just might be a mark where he probably got caught on a rock or something, getting caught out because the guy I got him from had a lot of rocks in the tank. So hopefully that's just it and it'll heal up. But I, these guys probably got another week before I move them into their bigger tank, which I'm still deciding if I want to add them in to my 125 gallon uh, peacock and hap tank down there or down here to the Starry Night Aquarium, which I'll go ahead and show you guys this real quick because this tank's just looking amazing. I think they'll look really good in here because I don't have really any white fish besides these two albino dolphins. Just be stand out really, really bright in here because everything else is obviously so dark. Alrighty. But yeah, I think that's probably it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. You guys are showing major love on the videos. And if you guys like my content and like what I have going on and want to stay up to date, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. 
and comment and let me know what you guys think and obviously like the video and share with all your buddies.